Good morning guys, happy Friday. How's everybody doing today? Pause the video right now and come and let me know below. It's a nice grey morning here. We're just all getting ready for a big old road trip this morning. We've just been up, done a ton of stuff. We're starting the vlog a little bit later than usual. We had to get up this morning. We had to get... <laughs> Excuse me. We had to get up this morning. I had to sort the vlog out because I didn't manage to get it done all last night. And then we had to go and drop little Prinny Pron off at a family friend with Coco because she is staying with Coco overnight at her family friends for the next two nights. So today we're heading down to Bristol. It is my uncle and auntie's due, let me get this right, 40th wedding anniversary. So is that a Ruby wedding anniversary? Anyway. <laughs> their 40th wedding anniversary. We're heading down to Bristol for the weekend. So we're staying over tonight and tomorrow night. There's a big old family party and a big old family gathering and a big old family this and that and blah, blah, blah happening this weekend. So we're really, really excited. It's gonna be epic. We're gonna see tons of my family that I haven't seen in years. Oh, it's gonna be just, it's gonna be brilliant. Like everyone's coming from all over. It's a really, really big deal. So we're all road tripping down to Bristol. My parents have just set off now, just ahead of us. We've just called up at Matalan because I am lacking some clothes guys, literally lacking. I am not loving anything in my wardrobe right now and I have nothing to wear to this party tomorrow. So this is the only clothes shop on the way. So I've just stopped in in the hopes that, fingers crossed I'm gonna find something. All the girls and Sarah and everyone just start waiting in the car. They're all obviously organized as usual. Me leaving until the last minute as usual. So hopefully I'm gonna be able to pick something up right now before we hit the road. I do love myself a bit of Matalan, but they always find that the sizes are just terrible. Like the sizes are either extra large or extra extra large and they've never got any small or medium in, which is what I need. I need a small or a medium, usually a small from here, but they just don't have anything in at all, which makes it very frustrating because there's loads of nice clothes. They're just never in, they're never in my size. Nice one, picked myself up a couple of bargains, feeling very happy with that. Now it's time to get on the road. We're a little bit behind schedule. We need, wanted to leave for like an hour ago from now so we can get there nice and early. Nice and early afternoon, miss all the Friday rush hour traffic. But I think we might just hit some of the rush hour traffic now on the last part of the journey. But it's all good, it's all good. I'd rather just be chilled and get everything done and head down there and get there whenever we need to basically. It doesn't really matter about when we get there today. Nothing's actually happening today. We're just kind of grouping at the hotel, probably going for a meal tonight. And that's about it really. The party is actually tomorrow. Yeah. Hey babe, are we all ready? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. A million toys. A million toys. Oh my goodness. Right, time to get on the road, guys. So it's just coming past four o'clock. We're just on our first road pit stop of the day. Road pit stop. Road pit stop, yeah, that works, it's good. <laughs> the traffic is super bad today, so we've been kind of like sat just pretty much after Sheffield for a little while now, so. Yo. <laughs> Scared the daylight's out of me. So we're gonna stop and grab a coffee, have a wee, and get back on the road. We've got like another two and a half hours before we're gonna be in Bristol, so it's quite a long way. And all the family's been ringing us and texting us and stuff from way down south, like near Bristol, so the traffic's decided, super bad. Chris decided to set his sat nav to the longest route possible. Yeah. <laughs> We're literally driving through Wayfield, like through the back roads through Wayfield. And my sat nav's telling us we're gonna be like five and a half hours till we get there. And Sarah's like, dude, what are you doing? Why, why is it five and a half hours and why are we going back roads? Basically, long story short, I set my sat nav to go the back road way. I oh, know, but it's okay. I set my sat nav to go the back road way rather than the motorway way. <laughs> anyway guys, long story short, Google Maps on my Android said five and a half hours. Apple Maps said three and a half hours. Just saying. Have you got all your legs stretched, guys? Yeah. Yeah, ready to get back on the road? Yeah. We've got some costas in. This is not a good idea because lattes always make me the toilet as soon as I've drank it. And you got a large. Why did you get me a large? Oh dear. Fingers crossed for no bad traffic. Okay, guys, we're back on the road, and I just wanted to say why, oh why, have I only just found this little bottle of pure yumminess. Oh my goodness, never in my life have I tasted iced tea until last week when we were on All Inclusive because I was so sick of drinking the same drinks over and over again. I really just fancied something different. So I went for an iced tea. It was okay. It was nicer than what I would expect it to be. I thought it was just going to taste like pure 
tea bag. <laughs> Pure cold tea bag. That's what I thought it would taste like. It didn't. It was actually really quite nice. So when I saw this in Asda, I thought, oh, peach flavour. I love peach flavour. I'm going to give it a go. This is now my new favourite soft drink. Actually, I wonder if there's many calories in this. 48 calories! That's not a lot. Is oh it? no, that's per 100 ml. And this has got 250 ml. It's quite a lot for a drink. But it's okay for a treat. Anyway, guys, I just thought I would say if you're scared of trying iced tea because you think it might taste like a tea bag, like I felt like <laughs> for the last 32 years, don't be don't be afraid. It doesn't taste like tea bag. That tastes so yummy. Anyway, we're back on the road. How long have we got to go? About two and a half hours, something yeah, like that. that yeah. The girls are all munching on their dairy donkers and stuff that they got from the um, what's it called? The service station. They're jumping on them. We're probably going to get some dinner when we get there. We didn't actually have lunch before we set off, which was a bit stupid, wasn't it? We didn't expect to be in traffic. But like we didn't this, no, we didn't expect to be in really bad traffic. Hopefully we'll get there very shortly and have no more nice standstill traffic jams. So I just had another look at the label because I thought 48 calories for 100 ml, that's quite a lot. And I was wrong. It's actually 48 calories for the whole bottle, which is not bad at all. But now Chris is in full on annoying husband mode and saying what's, because I asked him to taste it. Has the camera zoomed right in? Oh, no, no, <laughs> no it hadn't. <laughs> He's in full on annoying husband debate mode and he's saying, what's the point in having peach tea? Why not just have peach flavoured water? All it is, it's just, it's just peach juice. That's all it's it not is. juice, it's it tea. Is juice. It's, it's just tea, it's, it's got just black making, tea extract It's just in it. a way of making peach juice sound posh by calling it peach tea. It is just juice, it's peach juice. With tea in it, which is why it's called iced tea. If it's just iced tea and it tastes like iced tea, then that's cool, that's fine, that's legit iced tea, cool. Okay. But if it tastes like peach and doesn't taste of tea at all, it just tastes of peach, it's just peach juice. Okay, here we've got a bottle of cherry cola. Yeah. So is that completely wrong to be cherry cola? No, because it tastes because like cherry and cola together, it tastes like cherry cola. This tastes, tastes like, like peach. This that's tastes it. like peach and tea together. Peach juice. No, peach and tea. <laughs> this tastes like cherry and cola, <laughs> and that's why it's called cherry cola. This tastes like peach and tea, which is why it's uh, iced peach tea. Uh, I win this debate. Roller cola. I win the debate. Roller cola. <laughs> Do you remember roller cola? <laughs> I used to have roller cola when I was younger. If you don't know what roller cola is, no shame in it. Absolutely. Whatsoever. All it is, is cola that's not actual proper Coca Cola. I used to have that all the time. Well, not all the time because I wasn't allowed cola all the time. But when I was allowed cola, I used to have roller cola. It was like 19p <sighs> from like Netto's or Lidl. Was it, was it? No, it'd been like Tesco probably. No, oh, no not my mum didn't shop at Tesco, she shops well, at Netto's. Netto. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, go to the cheaper supermarkets, what's the point in paying more? Anyway, yeah, roller cola is something that me and Chris have just been saying all holiday because we went to a restaurant there and they served up like their special cola, but it was actually just roller cola. It was roller cola. It was roller cola. There's nothing wrong with roller cola. Nothing wrong at all. No, just I like roller cola. The peach tea. Don't it's even start again, no, no. No. Peach juice, mate. No. Hungry heart, you knew me from the start. You and me, we should be wild and free. What's up, guys? It is bang on 8 p.m., and we just arrived at our hotel for the night in Bristol. So excited to get out of the car. It feels like. It feels like forever. We set off, I don't know, lunchtime. We've been in the car a long, long time, but there's been a lot of traffic on the road. A lot of traffic, and we've had a couple of stops. So, all in all, it wasn't a bad journey whatsoever. It was all good. It was all good. Sarah and the girls have just gone to check us in, and then I think we're going to go check out the room and go meet my parents for some dinner, because we are starving. Oh, it looks quite nice. I can see my dad and my mum. This is going to be such a fun week and I'm really excited to see like so much family that I've not seen in so long. Most of our family are all spread out all over the country, like down south, up north, everywhere. So this weekend's going to be really cool to get everyone together and it's just going to be ace. I can't wait. What's up, mum and pops? Hi. How's it going? Hi. Say hi to the iFam. Hello. Guys, this is how you drink a drink in a hotel room. You pick up a milk, milk, you take the little wrapping off you sit inside 
And guess what you do? Good. <laughs> this is how you jump in a bed when you're in a hotel room. This is how you dance in a hotel room. <laughs> Guys, who likes hot chocolate? I do. I know that's coffee. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> the best thing about having grandparents staying at the same hotel as you is that you can send your little darlings off to the grandparents' room and have a good 45 minutes silence. And now I'm back. And I'm to the door. <laughs> Come on, Granny and Grandpa said it's time for dinner. <laughs> Me and Chris just enjoyed 45 minutes of pure silence. So much so that I had a coffee and I didn't even drink it because I was just laying there in silence, loving it. Anyway, we are now heading down to the hotel restaurant for some dinner. That was such a lovely night, have such a lovely meal with my lovely parents. I never ever or very rarely get to do that anyway, so especially when we're staying away in a different city. I very, very rarely, in fact hardly ever get to do that with my mum and dad and it's just lovely being able to spend that quality time with them. When we're away from home, we're all staying away and we're all excited about the weekend, just having a lovely meal and lovely chats and just, you know, some honest family, lovely chat time. That's what I loved about tonight. It was really nice just getting to sit with my parents and just having a lovely meal, having a lovely good old catch up. So anyway, we're all done now. The girls and Sarah are back at the room, just getting themselves sorted for bed. I'm just nipping back to the car because we didn't fully unpack when we arrived here earlier. We left most of our clothes and things in the car. So everyone is in need of some pajamas right now and they don't have them. So I'm on rescue mission right now. So we just got back to the hotel room. Esme and Isla are just settling down <laughs> into bed and I am about to end the vlog. I was just sat here thinking, I can't believe this is actually the second to last weekend of the six week holidays. It's gone so fast. This always happens. You always feel like at the start of the holidays, we've got six whole weeks, that feels like forever. And then before you know it, vroom, they've zoomed by and you've literally got like a week left. What day is it today? Friday. They go back on the fifth, so it's like a week and a bit. It's insane. And not only are they going back to school, Isabel is starting high school, which freaks me out. I'm sure, or I hope, I'm not the only parent that's got big fears about their 11, 12 year olds, 11 year olds starting high school in September. I'm sure all parents are feeling pretty much the same as what I do right now. I've got so many worries and fears about everything from small things like remembering what books she needs, remembering a pee kit on certain days, to big things like walking to school on her own. <laughs> I can't even bear that thought. To be fair, she has said, I don't have to walk on my own, do I? I was like, no, of course not, I can drive you. So she's happy to be driven at the moment. However, if she does have a school friend that's walking kind of her way, I'm sure she'll want to walk. But fingers crossed she doesn't, because that probably is probably is my biggest fear, her walking around the streets on her own. Anyway, if any other parents are feeling the same, comment down below and let me know if you've got a child that's starting high school or if you're starting high school and you know that your parents are worrying, I don't know, just comment down below. Or if you're not starting high school but you're starting like preschool reception, things like that because I know like I'm feeling so overwhelmed that my little girl starting high school but there's so many other parents that I'm friends with 
that I socialise with that have children that are actually starting primary school or nursery. Such an emotional time oh, for all of us mums. I'm starting year one. You're starting year one and my big Esme is starting year four. <laughs> and year four is quite an exciting year for Esme because she gets to start swimming lessons. Yeah. Like she just said. Anyway guys, we hope you've all enjoyed watching this vlog tomorrow. We have a very special day planned, but we will keep that quiet and you can see tomorrow we're in Bristol right now. So I know quite a few of you guys that live in and around Bristol and Bath have been tweeting saying, can you meet us? And we're hoping to do like a little, a little meet up with some of you guys, maybe. However, Chris really wants to go to Bath on Sunday and I've been like taking the mic and going, yeah, we can go to Bath. We'll go to Bath on Sunday. Is literally look at now going. In disgust. It's not bath. It's bath. It's bath. Bath. So bath. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm about to bath. No, it's bath. <laughs> bath. We're, not, we're not having another argument. It's bath. Debate today. Bath. No, it's bath. Oh yeah, with your peach coffee. Tea. Bath. Sorry. <laughs> okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let's give it a big thumbs up if you did, and we'll see you all here again at 6 p.m. tomorrow. Good night. Mm. Be the reason someone smiles today. Don't let the world change your smile. Please leave a thumbs up on this video and I'm sure the Ingham family would love it if you subscribe to them. I love you, everybody. Good night. Hi, Ingham family. I love you guys so much. I watch every single vlog each and every night. I admire you so much from the fact that you do campaigns to help with bullying to all of that sassiness. I wish I could have said everything about how much I love and admire every single one of you. But that would take a lot of time and this video has to be short. So here's my ending to your vlog. Good night. Mm -hmm.